Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Deponia Doomsday. Last time, we met Rufus as an old man who blew up Deponia, then something strange happened, Deponia put itself back together, and we are way, way back in time with Rufus before the events of Deponia 1. How this happened, we don't know. How Rufus is, like, remembering what happened in the future, I don't know. But let's see if we can find out. Now, before I get started, I want to give a quick shout out to somebody who uh, helped me quite a bit in the last couple of days. Uh, she's a Let's Player. Her name is Lord Smappy. I'll put her name up. And um, the reason she helped me is because when I've ever since I started this channel, I've gotten messages on a regular basis saying, "Hey, uh, your channel is great. You should check out mine and give me a shout out on your channel." And I don't like that. I don't like people asking me to give them shout outs. But uh, Lord Smappy, she was giving a few comments on my videos, and then she sent me a message asking me permission to give me a shout out on her channel. I kind of had to do a double take on that, and that was great. She did a whole video about my channel and about how much she enjoyed it, and it got me quite a few subscribers, and so I'm very grateful to her. So now, in turn, you should check her out. Uh, she has the same taste in video games that I do, but doesn't have any of the same Let's Plays. Uh, she has, let's see, Full Throttle and... Uh, Maniac Mansion, both of which I've been planning to do for a while. She also has uh, Suikoden 1 and 2, which are great games. She has uh, Monster Rancher games. Uh, and a few random ones I'd never even heard of, but uh, definitely check her out. I'll put a link to her channel in the description. That is Lord Smappy, or Smapy. It's with one P, so it's weird. <laughs> anyway, let us continue on. To try to undo this whole glass mist, because we met a time traveler. Well... Did it work? No, you ran over the glasses again. Well, why didn't you shout stop? I was distracted. Um, apropos, you didn't happen to see a pink elephant, did you? Have you been drinking? Strictly speaking, lots, yes. But it doesn't mix with my medication. So it would appear. <laughs> yes, my reflexes are way below standard. Otherwise, the elephant would never have gotten away from me. Now, where's the stupid thing hiding? Yeah, there was that weird pink elephant that came out of nowhere, and that was... That was weird. So let's take a look around. I hope his problems with reverse gear are limited to spatial dimensions. No, let us hope. We don't want to end up uh, doing the Big Bang. Do we want to turn back time again? I don't know. It seems less and less like a good idea to me. Are you sure you're well prepared this time? You realize everything that you've done since the accident will be reversed. Yeah, let's, uh, wait on that. Right. Let's just wait a bit first. I hate repeating myself. So I'm guessing we have to set some... set it up somehow. To, uh... make it so he doesn't run over the glasses. Do we want to turn back time? I don't know. It oh, seems... Are you the same you thing with the crank. Right. I hate... Okay, um... Wonder what he's thinking about. Perhaps if time is running out. Okay. Hey, Mac. World come to an end yet? I fear so, but I'll only be sure when it happens again. And? Caught any temporal anomalies yet? That's not how it works. Maybe you're holding the fishing rod the wrong way around. It's not a fishing rod. It's a device with which you can measure quantum superimpositions. <laughs> and then you wonder when no one takes the bait? There's a pink elephant running around here that keeps bothering me when I'm guiding you back. A pink elephant? That's highly unsettling. It could be the vanguard of a pink stampede. Or the time reset is having a detrimental effect on your central nervous system. No, oh, impossible. I injected hot lead into my nervous system to double my imagination. I can't imagine how that would work. Well, I can. That, that, okay, that sounds kind of painful. I need to get rid of that pink elephant right away. Perhaps you should visit a doctor. No, I can't expect any help from Dr. Gizmo. I'm banned from his clinic because I sometimes snack on expired drugs from his trash can. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Gizmo, we haven't seen him since Deponia 1. Do you think my dream might also be a temporal anomaly? Possible. What was it about? I saved an Elysian from the Organon. And together we... Well, spare me the details, please. I'm sure that it was only a dream. A rather common one at that. 
Okay. Do they have him mispronouncing temporal on purpose? He keeps saying temporal. Like temporal shrimp or temporal vegetable. <laughs> okay, sorry. Anyway. Oh, also something um, I didn't notice in the last episode when uh, we were listening to Deep Voice Rufus narrating. That was voiced by David Hayter. The guy who plays Solid Snake. Yeah, I should have. I, I listened back and I feel like I should have recognized that. But I thought that was pretty amazing. So yeah, go back and give it a listen if you didn't uh, catch that. Do we want to turn back time again? I don't know. It seems like uh, same thing. You realize? So let's say no, of course. Right. I hate. Okay, that's all we can really say with him. So let's take a look around. A machine now. that does nothing. No wonder it landed in the garbage. A nilbot. Looks like there's a few slots. Oh, whoops. A compartment for paramechanical components. Power inverters, strengtheners, that kind of thing. A compartment for para power inverters. Okay, so they're both the so we need to get something for these, I guess. If this machine does nothing, that I don't know what that will help. Huh. What we need here is a suitable container. Well, I probably also need to get this thing working, so this thing, I guess, is an ice maker? Let's see if we can uh, fix it up. So, let us do some more exploring in this part of Deponia. What was the town that Rufus is from again? I forget what it's called. Oh, oh, never again. You hear that, Tuck? Never ever again. Oh, who am I kidding? Everything comes back eventually. Oh. <laughs> and there we go. Uh, you okay you there? can always rely on Tuck to stagger through the village after closing time. Hi, Tuck. And a lovely day to you, too. So that last Nats piss was a little off, was it? It's always the last drinks of Nats piss that are the worst. Well, maybe you just don't know when it's time to stop. Do you know then? Ha! Huh, I always thought it was when you feel things couldn't get any better. Uh, yeah. Good luck with that, buddy. The pitcher goes up to the mouth until one buckles. Believe me, it's always the last bottle of Nat's Piss that finishes you off. Ah, uh, alcohol. So classy. You should stop drinking. Stopping is not the problem. It's the starting again that I can't seem to stop. What day is it today? <laughs> it has me thinking that I was drunk. Can't you hear the music? It is, of course. Barbecue Thursday! Barbecue Thursday? Which year? Um, everything okay with you, Rufus? So-so. I had the strangest dream. I met an Elysian, and the two of us saved Deponia, just to ultimately blow it up myself. But Barbecue Thursday in Kuvak. That would mean none of that ever happened! The floating black market. Bozo! Doc! That just can't be true! My fans are gonna freak if they find out that my adventures never happened! <laughs> What fans? <laughs> <laughs> well, there are uh, a couple people that have commented that they're kind of scared that, you know, it seems like those adventures never happened, that, you know, that they liked the ending of the last game, but, uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens at the end of this game eventually. Do you know where I can find Tony? She's in Lonzo's bar. Unbelievable that she managed to beat me at down in one. At Lonzo's? That means I have to go through the entire idiot parade. You got a barbecue Thursday hangover too? <laughs> I understand completely. Luckily, one doesn't get asked to square dance with six stuck to one's face. Good point. Oh yeah, and he, as they mentioned, this place is called Kubak. I remember now. Do you know anything about visions? You mean stuff like pink elephants? Hey. I always thought that was a bit of a dumb cliché. 
But there really is one of those about the place today. Yeah, anyone can do pink elephants. I saw the future. Nice for you. Not even close. It's gonna be terrible. Uh, oh, you're probably right. I'm dreading tomorrow morning, too. I saw the pink elephant, too. Really? Yep. A real pain in the butt. It keeps distracting me every time I try to save Tony's glasses. That means that I'm not a complete idiot after all. Look, I wouldn't be jumping to any hasty conclusions if I were you. <laughs> Will you help me scare the pink elephant off? It's gone already. I don't mean now, but... <laughs> Earlier. You want me to help you chase away an elephant from your past? <laughs> Been there, done that, got the medal. I got exactly the same problem with my wife, Trudy. My strategy? <laughs> Drink to forget. Well, completely wrong. The trick, in fact, is to remember when time repeats itself. Huh? How am I meant to remember something that hasn't even happened? Easy. You just have to, uh, yeah, yeah, so, uh, how does that actually work? I should probably ask McChronicle about that. You do that. Yes, we should. I have to prevent my vision of the future from becoming reality. Professional advice? Loads of alcohol. Reliably helps against even the most stubborn futures. Well, it looks like you're a great problem solver and gonna live a long and healthy life. I'll find a way to make you remember. Uh-huh. I should probably ask McChronicle about that. You do that. Stay vertical. Draw me a sketch. Okay. Well then, this is an interesting fellow. Oh, it's a platypus. Oh, it was a vampire platypus, like from, uh... Is that the last game? Yeah, it was the last game that we had one of those. All right, let's see, to the balloon. This takes us up here. Okay, so, we know that now. Let's see what's over here. Perhaps we can find Tony. She's supposed to be at uh, Lonzo's bar. Haven't seen Lonzo in a while. He's coming! Everyone in position! And then, just as we practice, I don't want to see any naked flames near Rufus. May Tephanus be with us. What? Um. If he would just play with more feeling and less saliva, he could maybe relax during the breaks. What's going on? Why aren't you playing? We haven't learned that song up by heart yet. And without light, we can't see the music. Then why not play something you know by heart? Hmm. I think I can come up with something. Our hit, Rudy's Dental Work, went wrong. <laughs> oh, please don't. I've already had to put up with that howling long enough. Still, much better than having to gaze at your mug all day. Hey! Do you think that I suffer from ear potatoes? Ear <laughs> potatoes? It's a new one. Come on, play Rudy's Dental Work. Rudy! Rudy! Oh, please don't. I've already had to put up with that howling long enough. Still, much better than having... Hey! All right, all right. Let's see, I guess let's talk with Zoon. My prophetic dreams can oracle away all they want. I will never, ever grow a mustache. <laughs> uh, we'll see about that. Hello, stranger. New in town? But Rufus, I attend the Barbecue Thursday Festival every year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. And your name is... Zoon, current grill champion from Sierra Benzoli. Sierra Benzoli? Well, I always thought that place only had three inhabitants. It, which doesn't mean that the title wasn't hotly contested. Fuego and Petro are also very skilled in handling methylated spirits. Shame that they weren't able to compete this year. Let me guess, an accident at work? Let's just say they should have made the shish kebabs with much more shish and a lot less kebab. Uh, okay. Use your imagination on that one, folks. Do you know how to catch an elephant? Of course! Why do you think I've got an elephant gun back there? I thought it was to show off. Uh, that too, but elephant hunting is a great tradition for us. It goes back to the days when Hanagul and Hunagus both got the idea of riding over the Amalgalps. I thought they were only looking for fillings for tusks. 
which probably didn't make the meeting of their armies any less bloody. <laughs> As you probably know, there's nothing more dangerous than an elephant with a toothache. I wonder if we uh, have an item with us, if that will go with us back in time or not. I'm gonna guess not, but oh well. There's an elephant in the area. <laughs> I'll only believe that when I see it. Well, he's very good at hiding. Not exactly typical for an elephant. You sure that you don't mean a wombat or a groundhog? Yeah, I think I would know the difference. Quite a few people think that, and you end up having to collect them from the circus with wombat bites. Oh, poor Uncle Diego. <laughs> there really is an elephant here. You'd better let a professional be the judge of that. I am a professional. Perhaps in claiming to be something that you're not, but certainly not in elephant hunting. Or do you happen to have a hunting license? Stop! Only beginners need a stupid license. Exactly, because the professionals already have one. <laughs> that's, that's a good point. Can I borrow your elephant gun? No, I only loan it out to other big game hunters. I happen to be a big game hunter. Ha! <laughs> if you were a big game hunter, then you would know that elephants are child's play. Much too easy to hit. Professionals hunt small animals. Ducks! Or rats. A gun like this won't do for them. You need something like a high-precision blowpipe for that. Much more precise. Unfortunately, I'm clean out of darts. And blowpipes. And bees for the nerve poison. That's unfortunate. Oh, come on, please! Lend me the elephant gun! I said no! I only loan it out to other big game hunters. Can you build me a high-precision blowpipe? Depends. Are you a licensed big game hunter yet? Uh... Yes? Then show me your license or take a hike. So I'm guessing one of the plot points is us getting a license. Oh please! I need that high precision blowpipe really urgently! Then show me your license or take a hike. See, I remember uh, if a dialogue option repeats itself, that means it's something important. So? What's tasty today? What do you think? Barbecue Thursday is Groundhog Day. Wasn't Rampage Monday always Groundhog Day? No, Barbecue Thursday, I'm quite sure. Huh, well, I'll pass, just the same. I'm just not big on leftover plot ID uh, Groundhogs. Okay. <laughs> oh, I get- oh, Groundhog Day. I get it. Because the movie, okay. <laughs> They're making that reference. What's all this nonsense with the lights and the barbecues? It's what they call Barbecue Thursday. I'm talking about you guys always turning off both whenever I get close. Oh, that's perfectly normal. Fire prevention measures. Don't worry about it. I wasn't planning on it. <laughs> I guess with Rufus around, you can't be too careful. Why don't you just let these guys play their hit? Because those pains in the neck have been hacking away at it all day. Or because he's a fully qualified provincial hick. I heard that! Oh, <laughs> he heard that! <laughs> but play him quality music, and that ape suddenly can't hear a thing. Hey, do you think that I suffer from ear potatoes? Oh, I thought that was common knowledge. You know what they say, the slowest farmer grows the biggest potatoes. <laughs> All right, I would have to use that sometime, ear potatoes. <laughs> oh, please, let the band play their hit. Hit? That lousy howling? It's not half as loud. Hey, okay, do you okay. think? Probably more from Cabbage Brain. <laughs> Wait, you just say his lousy beard, like what I just clicked over? He doesn't have a beard. So I guess that would make it a lousy beard since it's non-existent. Well then, bye barbecue. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> bye barbecue, that's a good one. So there's the, uh, oh, there's a muzzle loader. Aw, oh, sick! A muzzle loader! Maybe this will turn out to be my favorite Deponia adventure after <laughs> all! Let's grab it. Can I borrow your elephant gun? No! I only loan. Uh, I happen. Ha! <laughs> much too professional. A gun. You need so much more. Unfortunate. And. And. Alright. And, uh, that's it. So let's go further in. I'm just playing right when I leave. Hey, look who it is! That's either my old sidekick, Wenzel, or a talking jack-o'-lantern. Wenzel? Is that you? I thought you were a jack-o'-lantern. Honest. Very funny! But great to see that you decided to join in with Barbecue Thursday after all. The hell I did. I'm just here to pick Tony up. Oh yes, the balloon. Have you really thought that one through? I know. 
A week in a confined space with her might make me suicidal, but I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be good for our relationship if I left the planet without her. I just meant whether you're sure about going through with the whole thing. You've split once before. If your plan fails again, you could break more than just the altimeter, or your nose, or the roof of the kindergarten. Don't worry, little man. This time, I've thought of everything. I didn't even bother to install an altimeter, for example. Tony trusts me, and rightly so. You'll see. And you notice that uh, wherever the, the Rufus goes, they turn the lights off? Hey, Wenzo! Hey, Rufus! You fancy around a rotten fruit game? Rotten fruit game? So nice to see you again after all this time! But Rufus! We only saw each other yesterday. You wanted to borrow a stepladder, but you ended up using my head instead. A uh, little mix-up. <laughs> you are always making fun of my height. Well, you have to appreciate the little things in life. <laughs> You'll never believe all the stuff that's happened to me today. Hmm, let me guess. You tried to get to Elysium, but you fell down somewhere and you bumped your head? Beep. Wrong! I had a vision of the future! Then, I ran into this scruffy McMuffin guy who had a time machine, and now I'm being terrorized by a pink elephant! <laughs> that sounds exciting, but perhaps we shouldn't dismiss the head bump theory? I see you took the job in the cesspit. Well done. A man should always know his place. Huh. How'd you get on that idea? The wastewater vat? The smell? Your general disposition? I just put two and two together. That's not wastewater! The vat is part of the jolly game of rotten fruit! A game with centuries of tradition! You could have at least changed the water. Now, now that I'm looking in the background, I think we've seen some of these people before. Uh, this guy is the uh, worker who had the keys to the car. We had to call herself, what was it, Sugar Puff? And uh, she, I think she, this girl was just in the waiting room of the... Uh, Oh, what was it? Uh, getting gold to live with them, something, and uh, this guy too. Rotten fruit game? That doesn't sound jolly at all. More like someone should maybe take a thick book with them when they take a dump. It's quite simple. Each player tries to place three or four of their fruit type in one row. Without gloves, you get boils from just watching. Rats are the bigger problem. Those critters are just mad for rotten fruit. Ugh. Why would anyone ever want to play that? Because the winner will receive an almost brand new small game hunter's license from the estate of the previous year's champion. That's why the game is only 18 plus. Mm, well, and because every participant is automatically qualified to take part in the adult tombola. Yeah, and a round of infectious diseases roulette. The heck is tombola? What is adult tombola for that matter? Well then, let the games begin! Do you have some? Exactly. What about the rat boy? He's not allowed to play! Huh? Why not? Because he's still too young! S sorry about that little skip there. I had my antivirus software window pop up in the middle of the thing. Ugh. Rotten fruit game? That doesn't sound jolly at all. More like someone should maybe take a thick book with them when they take a dump. <laughs> it's quite simple. Each player tries okay. to place three or four without you get rats. Those uh, become that's what. Uh, yeah. Why can't the rat boy play? Because he's still too young, said the garden gnome. I have to be going. My coat is slowly starting to smell like your tub of rotten fruit. Because this is the rat boy. Ah, the poor little rat boy can't even afford proper clothes. My parents say that Sleek Slate is on vogue for the coming autumn season. Uh, so brave. Hello, rat boy. That's not my name. My name is Leonardo Alfonso Miguel Garcia de... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rat boy works. No one can remember all that nonsense. Nonsense? My name is one prizes. Rat, 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 rat. <laughs> He's the rat boy. Uh, why is everyone so mean to me? <laughs> Aren't you allowed to play with the other rats? If, if, if you mean the rotten fruit game, 
I'd love to, but I'm still too young. That's right, Rufus. The Rotten Fruit game can only be played by adults. Did I step in a cricket nest or something? I keep hearing this chirruping from somewhere around my ankle. <laughs> Come on, rat boy. Let's play. But I am still much too young. What you are is too forward, kid rodent. Kid rodent? Nah, I think I'll stick with rat boy. Rat boy was better. So we want to play the game to win the prize, but uh, rat boy is too young. I wonder if that's going to have any uh, bearing on time travel there. Yeah, the most rotten game of them all. Well then, let the games begin. Do you have some? Okay. Let's see what else can we click on. What's this? Wax drawer. Ow! Ah, get out of here! Damn, that won't work! Yeah. Same again! Okay. Well, there are bees there, so perhaps that's what uh, we uh, need for those poison blow darts. Huh. The last bees in the southern quadrant at a barbecue Thursday celebration near you for the last 20 years. Shit. If this keeps up, humanity will die out before the bees. If I recall correctly, we, oh, we do have some stuff in our toy bubble wrap, wrench, and junk. Hmm. Well, let's uh, do some more exploring before I start trying stuff out. Potato having machine. I'm guessing you put a potato in and it cuts it in half. Someone forgot a baked potato in the embers. Must be my lucky day. All right. Ouch! That cursed tuber is still glowing hot. I'll have to cool it down somehow. Well, we don't have a way to do that yet. <laughs> then explain it to me again. What exactly do you see in that fool? Huh? Rufus, he's not the right man for you. Is he even a man? Huh? I'd say he's more a complete loser. Shut your trap, Lotto. Nah, he's got no job, no manners. And the biggest thing he hasn't got, a future. I'm warning you, Lotto. Don't diss my friend. Ah, come on, Tony. Do you really trust in that good for nothing? You heard Tony, Lotto. Leave her in peace. No, I want to know. Do you really believe he's gonna get you two to Elysium? Huh? You're more likely to see me in a dress! <laughs> For the last time, Lotto, shut your mouth! You could have the pick of anyone, Tony, if only you'd open your eyes! You would see... This! This here is a man! A real man! Lotto, please. A manly, beardy man. The furniture is brand new. How about it? You wanna touch my beard? Huh? Chickadee, chickadee. Uh, funny, I have this twinge in my leg. I wonder if that means we're gonna have a storm. <laughs> I knew it. Lotto, what happened to you? You can... You can... You can call me Lottie from now on. Did Tony kick the gender out of him? <laughs> Whoa, okay. <laughs> and thus, uh, Lottie is born. <laughs> So, uh, what else can we find around here to get rid of that pink elephant? Well, I guess we're just going to have to find out next time on Let's Play Doomsday Deponia. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.